Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Ark. We are back over on Valgaro. Kinda needed a break from Aberration. We've been over there quite a bit. <laughs> it's been pretty stressful lately. And before we do the Alpha fight for Rockwell, I figure we go ahead, jump over here, have like a little mini vacation, and take a look at some of the stuff we unlocked. So we got the Rock Drake saddle unlocked with the beta version of Rockwell. So that kind of does two things. One, I mean, it's a tech Rock Drake saddle, so we'll definitely be checking that out. Gonna do some upgrades with it. And then you also got the Tech Forge that finally unlocked. One of the requirements was the Rock Drake Saddle. The Tech one to be unlocked. So it's kind of like a two-part deal. And I tell you what, this thing better be fantastic because I am never going through that kind of grind again. That is one we'll ever make of those. Never be another one. So if we ever decide to make another base, it is going with us. Oh yeah, don't mind the Rock Drakes. I kind of left the other one on Aberration. Do we have an egg from you guys yet? We do. Let's go ahead and turn off mating on these guys. Well, I'll tell you what, the tails, man. I left the other one, and I was not about to jump back over there just to grab our rock drake. So, we need one of these. And I don't want to take one of these guys out. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to take one of these out for a little bit of testing. Something's going to happen. It's going to get killed. And then we're going to be down one of our breeders. And I just don't want that to happen. So, let's put these guys back in here. We'll get that little one raised up real quick, and we'll go ahead and make the saddle. I have everything made up, all the forges. I just need to go ahead and craft the final product. You can see there's a ton of them. And I tell you what, man. So I was going to do all these in batches of 20 when I was crafting. Just because I didn't know how many slots it was going to take up. I mean, they're super expensive. And whenever I did 20, I thought my game was going to crash. Dude, I froze up for like a good, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. And then it started crafting. So yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of resources for it to, to handle at once. So let's do it like this. So here's what it requires. The King Alpha Trophy from over on Extinction, and then 64 regular forges. Ah, oh, I tell you what, man. It is very, very expensive. Oh, they're already there. What am I doing? Craft one. And then we need to do the Rock Drake Saddle. So we're gonna take this and try the upgrade station. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I wanna test it out normal first, and then we'll throw it into the upgrade station and see what all it uh it does so there's that there's that and this needs to go over to aberration with us i'll tell you what let's go ahead and just put that into the transmitter i want to set that up at the the old base it's kind of at the top of the blue zone or maybe even up in the green zone i'm not too sure i just want to set it up so it's easier to get around the map instead of going through like the whole down blue area you know where our base is it's kind of down by the red zone so let's start off with the egg. It's going to be the easiest bet because it's going to take him a minute. We'll go ahead and do the growth pulse. I needed a spare one anyways, just in case. We'll leave it over on probably Aberration. That way if we have to do any more rescue missions. I forgot I'm out of... Calm down, calm down. What was that all about? Holy crap, dude! Y'all alright? What is going on? Why was everybody not on passive? What is wrong with you? And I don't have a... I don't have a saddle. Can you just land, please? I'll tell you what, man. I leave for a couple days and come back. And you guys are all going nuts. Did you land too, please? And where's the dragon? I saw his little wings flapping around too. Where is the dragon? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? That was a long jump. I don't know why I did that. All right. You land too. I'll deal with you later. Not out there, please. Not out there. Just, just right here. Big old area. Big old area. There you go. You're all right, man. You're all right. You good? You started all this, didn't you? Boy, I tell you what. I'm not even going to. Nope. I'm not going to mess with him. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. Let's go ahead. And get the little one out. I don't know how they all got put on aggressive or whatever they were. <laughs> you alright, Junior? I see that you met everybody already. So let's go ahead. We'll give him a second. We'll do the growth pulse. And then that'll take care of him. So, where do we want to put this thing at? It is super awkward looking. Is it going to fit up here? It will, but I have <laughs> more metal smelting up. Dude, I tell you what, I was so worried we weren't going to have enough... But I'll tell you what, man, everybody just came over there, didn't they? Unicorn came. The, uh, thank goodness the Mantis with the swords didn't come running. Just saying. 
The one you figure would predict everything. <laughs> oh, dude. All right, Taylor. Let's just set it. Let's just set it right here by the preserving bins for right now, just so we can play with it. And it's terrible looking. Why is that the forge? That's the same thing as our our converter here for our element. I didn't even realize we had some in there still for our element. I don't like it. <laughs> I expected more. Oh, uh, let's take a look at it anyways. So it instantly smelts metal in into ingots and then wood into charcoal. Organic polymer into polymer. That's what I really want. And then the congealed gas balls into regular gas balls. Oh, stabilizes unstable element. Interesting. Only requires one metal per ingot, which is awesome too. I think it's normally what, two? Or is it three? I think it's two for each one normally because it gets reduced. I'm not too worried about the element stabilization. I mean, that's kind of cool though if you craft element, you know, got that timer that usually has to wait for before you can use it. I do want to check out the organic polymer. I think we have a little bit left. Yeah, 5,000. I'll tell you what. Let's start off with a little bit of metal. Interesting. Why can I not pull anything? Can you not use a pull function on this? Let's just do... pull some out of there. So there's some of you. Instant. Well, I'll tell you what, that is so nice, man. That is... that's very nice. It's not worth 64 forges nice, but it is nice. Let's do some organic polymer. Let's do 5,000 of that. Can we fit all that into our inventory? We can't. And that's a one-to-one -one ratio as well. Oh, dude, that is awesome, man. Instant. So, I mean, we have the refrigerator, the storage, to be able to hold all that as it is. So it's kind of nice, but at the same time, it sucks whenever you're trying to transfer in between maps some supplies. Because, I mean, these stack to 100. Those stack to 20. And then they start deteriorating. So that was the main thing I wanted this for. Again, I don't know if that's really worth <laughs> 64 forges. Oh, I am kind of disappointed. I don't know what I was expecting. I think the look of it's just horrible. I don't know. But it'll probably... It'll probably go up here. You know what I should do? This should go to Aberration and live there. Because we have all the crabs, right? Super simple to get organic polymer. All of the metal nodes, that's where a lot of my metal came from for making all the forges, as well as the polymer. So maybe we'll just leave this over there, and that'll be kind of like our farm for metal and stuff. Seems how it's a one-to-one -one ratio? Oh, dude, that'd be super simple. So you just fill it up and then put everything right into the transmitter. So I might put it up on the roof next to the transmitter at base, and that way we can go ahead and just get everything smelted up that way. Hmm, I don't know, man. I'll, it's It's useful. I give you that, and then let's see about this. You are on the growth pulse. You do have the fist bump. He should raise up super fast. We'll throw the saddle on him. I'm gonna need some element as well. Um, where is it? Let's just take a stack, dude. We are getting super low on element. I'm gonna have to. We gotta do some some runs over on extinction here soon for some element for sure. We're definitely gonna be needing it. And then we have the saddle, right? Oh, it's on us already. Okay, cool. I left everything over on Aberration because we are doing the boss fight over there here pretty soon. The alpha one for Rockwell. So I didn't want to bring everything over here and then have to transfer it back. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's all good. All right, so we got Junior all raised up and healed up. Brought the pig over. Got him all sorted out too. So I can't remember. Does the saddle damage scale with the Rock Drake? on these because it doesn't have a damage percent so we'll have to do a little bit of testing and see about that i don't know if anything's going to adjust whenever we do the upgrade other than the armor <laughs> can you see through there man looks kind of weird it's uh it's on his front paws a little bit on his tail a little bit on his back legs not much and then all on his neck it looks kind of neat I'll tell you what, let's just hop off this way and look oh he's got spines too Oh, it's a two-seater! 
Are normal rock drake saddles two seater? Are they one seater? I don't know, man. It's it's kind of different because I play single player, so. I kind of like it. It's not too bad. I wouldn't really paint it. I kind of like how it is now. All right, let's do a little bit of testing. Let's see what happens. I don't want to put that point into anything. Let's find. Not going to be anything over there. Let's just head over here. I know, I know. We shouldn't be going to the redwoods, especially with him having the tech stuff. I don't want him going nuts. Can you cooperate here, please? We'll find something to shoot a little bit. We'll put a point into his damage and see if that scales any. Then we'll go back and play with the upgrade station. I hope I have enough metal and stuff for the upgrade station. All right, so let's see. How does the... Okay. We got a zoom. 174. Okay. Okay. One point in damage. 522. What? 87. Why is that so sporadic? I want to shoot the same Parasaur to see... So it does splash damage for sure. 174. So it's the exact same. Hmm. Interesting. So there's no way to really adjust that then, huh? That is expensive, man. Is that all that the tech saddle does? It's just that? There's nothing else, right? Yep. Everything's the same. Hmm. Kind of neat. That's the, uh... That's where I think the, the shots come out of. Nice, man. Nice. Not too bad. I don't know. I expected more, but, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else it would have. It's kind of cool that it's a two-seater if the normal version is only a one-seater, though, right? So let's get up here. We will see if the upgrade station does anything. Easy, buddy. Easy. I know, man. You got that new saddle. You're all excited. Can't blame you. All right. Hopefully, it's not going to cost too much. Oh, it's something else. Are you broken again? Yep. I think we're going to leave him into there because I do not want to hear the whooshing sound all of the time. So I hope it's not too expensive to upgrade. Oh. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, there goes that theory. Let me get some of this. That is a ton of stuff, man. Holy crap, dude. All right. I tell you what, we might not have... How much metal have I got? 8,000 and only 11,000. Good thing that goes one to one now. So, seeing how I can't really do the pull feature on this, I'm going to have to do it all by hand. So, give me a minute. Let me get that smelted up, and I'll probably transfer everything out of here. That's all done. I need to get some water. I don't have a canteen on me. It's back over on Aberration. And my one from here got ate by the, uh, what was it, cooking pot or something? All right, so I was going to go ahead and pull all this over. I don't know if it takes a minute for it to populate, but now, whenever you click on that, it only shows you the items that you can pull over. So that's kind of cool. I'm not sure why it took so long, but that'll definitely make it a lot easier to get stuff moved over. Let's go ahead and just do all of them. Oh, look at that, man. <laughs> that's an Okay, it's a little bit better now. It's a little bit better. I thought I was going to have to move everything by hand, but let's go ahead and do the consolidates. 27,000. We should be able to get a couple of the upgrades. I still need to move everything else over, though, and get it pulled into there. We got plenty of the black pearls. A lot of those came from Scorched Earth. So, all right, let me get everything transferred in. I'm trying to do some upgrades. Hopefully, get a decent saddle. All right, we should be good. Let me pull this last little bit of polymer over. Let's go ahead and just pull it all. I tell you what, this is a lot of resources. Expensive, man, expensive. So... There's one. And all that goes up is the armor rating, of course. There's two. And we don't have enough metal. Holy crap, dude. That is super expensive. I am not farming anymore right now for that. So that's only two upgrades. It's at 100. Usually that's kind of my base is at 100. Is a, it's kind of a good place for a saddle, right? It's a lot better than the 25 or 20, whatever normal... Saddle is. I think this one's 45, though, right? Let's take a look.
So that normal one comes out to 45. So that's double. I mean, it's not too bad. I think what I'll do is hold on to it, and then I'll make it into a blueprint. And speaking of blueprints, something is kind of weird. So you know how you can install the blueprints? You cannot install any of these. I don't know why. It's just the hazmat suit. It's made in a fabricator normally, but... I mean, you can you can install the the other stuff. It's just not these. So I don't know why that is. It doesn't doesn't allow it. Let's see if there's any more damage difference on this. I don't think there's gonna be. But might as well take a look. A little bit of testing. I mean, that's huge too, right? That armor rating. That's a huge difference. It's double, man. Over double. Over here, find another Parasaur or something to smack around. Preferably a trike if we can. That way it comes for us. Or this Bronto will work. Dude, I gotta do so much resource harvesting over here as soon as we get done with being on Aberration. 153. 130. So that's about the same. I think I was doing 147 last time, right? Hmm, interesting. That would definitely work out. I'm kind of thinking... I still don't know for the, the Rockwell fight if I want to take a Rock Drake in or not, or if I want to just do it on foot. With I was thinking about taking my tech suit in. Because apparently, I didn't know, I thought it was radiation all in Rockwell's arena. And people are leaving me comments saying that there's not. So if we don't have to worry about wearing a regular hazmat suit, I was kind of thinking about taking our tech suit in. And just using that with the cactus broth and flying around and just doing everything myself like that. Leaving some of the Megalosaurus. Yeah, see, I'll just use these. I mean, the armor rating's good on it. Durability, I mean. I think the lowest one I have is the 544 there. So that should be fine, because we only had 300 on our hazmat suit. We made it last time without any of that breaking. So maybe I'll repair this stuff, if I have any resources left. Repair all of it, take it with us. And maybe I'll take the Rock Drake with the new saddle? I don't know, I don't know, man. It's kind of... haven't decided yet. Let's do this. I mean, we got enough to repair it all. Let's do that. Let's try it on just a tech suit. It'll be interesting, and if for some reason it fails, and totally doesn't work out, good chance that it will, then we will take our Rock Drake saddle over. I'll go ahead and try to farm up some more stuff, try to get that thing fully upgraded and make a blueprint, because I do not want to have to upgrade that again. Holy crap, dude, that thing is expensive. Oh, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. We have our Tech Forge. Uh, I will probably never make another one. Like I said, it's, it's nice, right? The one-to-one -one ratio is a huge thing. And then changing the organic polymer into regular polymer is also a huge thing. It is not worth 64 forges to make another one. I kind of regret it a lot. And then the saddle kind of turns out pretty nice. I don't know. I was expecting a little bit more from it, but I mean, it looks cool on them. Good armor. And then if you like using tech stuff, it's got the, you know, the extra damage and stuff like that. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our little bit of upgrading. We will be going back to Aberration for the Rockwell fight in the next video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.